Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. And we're doing the stitched snake knot bracelet today. So that is this design here. We've done it on the knot and loop setup. And uh, as you can see, it is very similar to the stitched fishtail. Um, just slightly different, but uh, overall creates a very similar effect. And I did do this with micro cord. You can do this with um, type 95 or a slightly thicker cord. But I felt like if I went uh, with a thicker cord, it might create too many gaps in between the snake knot it might not look as good so I just went with this one but definitely do feel free to try out different types of cord and this is just done on the uh, snake knot this is JD lenses method and um, yeah that's what we'll be learning today and I hope you guys will like this tutorial and that being said let's get into the video all right guys so I've got my paracord ready here and I have roughly nine feet or so um, but I'll of course annotate the exact amount I use. So we're going back to our roots with the snake knot and I'm sure most of you know how to do this but just to review uh, we're gonna be tying this um, uh, in the original style that JD Lenzen taught at tying all together. So I've got uh, my midpoint of my paracord. I'm gonna do one loop behind like so and then I'm gonna take the strand on the right. I'm gonna go behind uh, this strand here on the left, and I'm going to go through this loop here. Okay, I'm going to go through there. And then we're going to form our one inch loop. And as of course you can tell, we're doing knot and loop. Of course, you can do this over your existing snake knot bracelet, or you can do this with buckles. Okay, we've got our first snake knot. And now for this method, uh, we're going to briefly loosen this. I don't know. Well, yeah, we're going to loosen this and then I'm going to take the strand on the bottom. So let me grab the strand here. So this strand, this end here, belongs to this strand. So we're going to go through this little loop that we create here and go through there. So again, if this is not clear, you can consult my dedicated snake knot tutorial. And the reason why I think it's better to go with um, this original method is because, oh, uh, you'll see in a sec, I'll, I'll explain. It's just that the, the snake knots need to, need to stay closer together. Okay, and then we're gonna rotate. And then you see how we have our two knots here. I'm gonna open this one up like so. I'm going to take the strand below. So let me get this a bit more clear over here. Okay, so yeah, we have this. And then now we're going to take this strand here. So the end of this strand is this one. And we're going to go through. And we're going to pull tight. I always find this method a bit easier. Okay, and then we flip it over and we repeat the same process. Okay, so I'm going to put that up there. You're going to loosen this one, like so. Take the strand on the bottom and go right through. Okay. So I'm going to continue tying my snake knot bracelet like this. I'm going to tie my entire length and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so I've tied the length of my snake knot bracelet and I'm going to do the stopper knot later. So now for the stitching part. Um, it doesn't really matter which side you start on because, well, for this, um, it's not looped, so there really is no front or back. But um, for your, if you're doing buckles, you should just be aware of that. So we're going to do it almost like the fishtail. Um, so I'm going to start on the back here. And I'm just going to feed my fid through here. I've got um, my white micro cord about seven feet, I believe. Uh, if I use more than that, of course, more or less, you know, I will annotate it. So this is going to be a little hard to do because I'm looking through the viewfinder. But okay, so I'm just going to push it through. See, I just went under like four knots there. And this will be our kind of like our anchor. I'm going to pull this all the way through. 
and yeah, I've got quite a bit of cord here. I'm gonna pull this through here. I'm trying to get it close to the center. Okay, I don't pull it all the way through. I'm gonna stop right there. Now I'm gonna go through my loop here. Pull everything through like so. And we're going to do this, yeah, like a, almost like the uh, stitched fishtail. So you know what, let's start with this knot here. Okay, actually let me uh, get a little closer. Just let me zoom in a bit. Okay, there, nice and focused. All right, now I'm going to go under this knot here. Now again, if you're using the smaller fit, be careful not to pierce the actual uh, paracord it will get caught. Okay, so I'm going to go through here like this. I'm going to move to the center. So now we went to that one. We're going to go to the, the opposite one down. So we went from here. Now let's go to here. So it's okay if you go in on the side, kind of. Um, you can always move the cord back. This is actually very hard to do looking through my viewfinder. Okay, give me a sec. There we go, right? So see how it kind of went through the side, but that's okay because after you pull it through, I'm getting caught on my mat here, sorry. I'm gonna pull all this through. So you can kind of shift it to the center. Try to get any twists out. Just move your, you can use your fid Kind of play with it. I'm gonna stay in focus here. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and then here. All right. Now we're gonna to go to the next one here. So when we do that, it should pull it over to the other side and make it a little more even. So now we go through here. Okay, there we go. And pull everything through. This is going to take, uh, as you can tell, it's going to take quite a while because we have a lot of uh, knots. That's okay. Okay. Did I mess it up? No, we're okay. So it's going to be doing this kind of crisscross sort of pattern. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing there. So that's pretty much it. Um, this will take a decent amount of time because you can see all the knots I have to go through. You can skip them if you want, but I always feel like going with every knot looks better. So now we did that one. We're going to move to this one here. Make sure you don't pierce. Okay. And you'll start to see the desired effect we're going for. Right. So when we do that, this is going to cross over here. You can pull kind of tighter after every stitch and just use your fid, push, work it over like so. All right, so I'm going to continue doing that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through every single knot. I'm not skipping any because I like the effect I'm creating with uh, by going through every knot. See? Yeah, get a bit easier as you go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this all the way down my bracelet. And uh, yeah, I'll show you uh, the end when we finish it off. Okay, so as you can see, I'm almost done stitching my bracelet. Just got a couple knots left to do. So I'm gonna go through this second last one here. Let's go through there. And I don't want to get caught here. So that's the second last one. Now for this last knot here, I'm going to go through the bottom here. Go through there. Like that. Let's pull this over here. Okay, and then now for the end, uh, I'm going to go through behind. So through these two, the two strands there. We're going to finish it off uh, similar to the fishtail and the way we're going to lock it down is we're just going to um, stitch this through 
maybe about four knots on this side, okay? On the back side, so let's do that really quickly. You can do four or five, it's up to you. Careful not to pierce your paracord, as these uh, thinner fins fids tend to do. All right, so through there, like so, and I keep getting caught on this, it's annoying. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so very simple. All I did was I went through the bottom knot here, up to the other side, and through these uh, last four. You can do five if you want. So I'm just going to snip off this little bit of excess. That'll stay safely locked in there. It should be okay unless you, you know, physically take something to pull it out. It's not going to come out. All right. And uh, then to finish it off, we'll tie our diamond knot. You know, let's just do that real quick now. I'm going to go through this extremely quickly uh, because I do have a dedicated tutorial on that. I'm sure most of you know the diamond knot, but if you need a refresher, do check out that video. So we'll do the loop over this cord here like so and then we'll take this strand go underneath the right strand over the first one under the second one and over the last one okay now that we have our little care expand here we're going to take this strand we're going to go past this one here through the middle then we're going to bring this strand around, go past this strand here, and up through the middle. So that was super fast, but of course, check out my dedicated tutorial for that. Okay. All right, let's just put this. Okay, so I'm going to have to, obviously, I'm going to have to move my diamond knot. I'm going to move this to about here. Then I'll snip and singe this excess and cut off that excess, and we'll be finished. So now I've uh, yeah, adjusted my knot here. I could have woven a little more snake knot, but I underestimated it, but it fits me now. That's the glory of these uh, knot and loop bracelets. You can always adjust it at the very end. Snip and singe that off, and very nice clean finish here. So you can barely see where the, uh, the white microcord ends. And that is it, all right? This has been the stitched uh, snake knot bracelet. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, Please do leave them down below as soon as uh, as usual, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's everything. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next tutorial.